Hello guys and welcome to Need for Speed and the brand new update which is all about hot rods and manual gears and loads of awesome stuff. But before the video starts a quick little sponsored message from Opinion Outpost. We're going to click the link in the description below at the top of the line, the top line of the description. Click the link, answer some surveys, give your opinions to all different types of industries. Basically they want to get your opinion and they want to improve their areas of expertise. And what do you get in return for this? You get actual money, actual cash. Also, Amazon gift cards, iTunes gift cards, and you guys get the chance to join hundreds and thousands of people that have already joined up so far. Anyway, let the video c continue. Right, so I bought this yesterday. It's one of the most expensive cars in Need for Speed. Actually, it's the most expensive car in Need for Speed. It's absolutely absurd how much it costs. We go all the way to the right. Um, I've done like a live stream playing this game, uh, the new update. I can't even buy it, actually. I've already bought it. It's around 200, 202,000 in-game currency, which is just... It's just insane, like just insane. Uh, I feel like my voice is wrecked this morning. I don't know why it hurts to talk. So I do apologize about this video if I sound like I'm choking to death or something, but <laughs> there we go. What can you do? Right, anyway, let's select it. Select this absolute beast. Look at it, it's a, it's basically a hot rod, which has been customized to head and back. It looks like an F1 car has been squished down. Massive, massive tires. I mean, look at those tires. They are obscene. Uh, any interesting raps yet that people have done have interest? What's this one? Ooh, I like that. Quite nice. Oh, monster. Monster energy. Ah. That is pretty nice. I like that. Ken Block style. Uh, this is a black one. Is it just slightly different than the standard model? Are oh, the flame effects as well, of course. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, I'll probably stick with that for now because I, I do like the whole stealth black look. Um, yeah, leave it at that. That's fine. That, that's that's good. I like, I like, I like. Uh, in terms of visual customization, there's not much you can do to this car because it is a sort of custom car. It's done already, pretty much. Uh, but you can change the rims. You go up to here. So you've got rims and also the tyres. So, rims you have, I think there's two options. I don't mind that. It looks quite old school and quite classic. And you could paint them black as well. But I like those ones. I love the sort of really, really classic looking F1 star wheels with the Beck custom on it as well. I like that. Uh, in terms of, you can change the color. You can change the bolt color as well. I'm keeping it stealth black, but I'd experiment with perhaps having like a sort of, perhaps like a gold color perhaps, maybe. Sort of gold or maybe red might look quite good. There's, there's options, that's for sure. About, like a, about a gold bolt, actually. A gold bolt. How would that look? Oh, it's a red bolt. Not too bad. I love this, just like the subtle colour. Oh, the gold bolt looks nice. The gold bolt in the middle. Yeah, why not? Let's go for that. All rims. Oh, it's just a nice little bit of colour now. Just a tiny bit of colour. Not too much. Uh, Tyres, we have... I've gone for like pure slicks, but you guys, you guys can go for this if you want to. Better custom ones, which have like a nice little yellow sort of like barcode on it. And I think, oh, actually we've got rain tires as well. So we've got semi-slick tires, which is sort of like an intermediate F1 tire. So that's good for getting some rain out the way. And rain tires are good for rain, which is actually in new speed a lot. So rain does come down often. So it does make a little, a little bit of sense, but I'm sticking with slicks. I want pure slicks, pure and utter grip. It doesn't actually affect the uh, the performance, but whatever. Just the look of the car. Uh, as far as I know, you can also new to do no performance parts. This this car is stock, and that is it. But it does look, I mean, looks so mean. Look at it. So good. It looks like it does look like an F1 car. Like the fuser. Oh, actually, you can change the spoiler. Actually, one sec, I forgot about that. Go to the back. You can change the spoiler. So a more sort of uh, more stealthy car. It looks almost like a sort of really like hyper car now or something like that. But not an F1 car, more of like a hyper car or a sports car or something. Um, I do like the big wing, the big wang. Done. All right, I think we should head out there, perhaps do some drag racing. Oh yes, slights, but they still work. This car is beast. Look at it. It's, it's a mammoth machine. It sticks to the floor. The sound of it. And this as well. Oh man, acceleration. Look at acceleration. It does stop. Well, it does stop around. It does stop around 220. We've got the max limit of the car. Which is actually not as quick as some other cars. 
if I'm honest. I think the um, GTR goes up to like 247 or something. It's not, it's not the fastest car, but it accelerates so quick. This would be so good in like a race, or like a sprint race, or something like that. Or drag race, of course. It's just absolutely monstrous. No turbo in this as well. It's literally a V8 monster. Apparently it's like a mix between a, is that crash? And this, uh, uh, a NASCAR and an F1 car. So it's got all the combinations of that. Obviously a hot rod as well. And yeah, how cool is that? Right, so let's now do a drag, oh shit. The cops, well, I haven't done anything wrong. The cops are after me, help. I've done nothing wrong, I'm crashing. It, it's got fairly sort of stiff handling. I thought I could use, like, use the handbrake a little bit. It is fairly stiff, but that does look so good. So good, it's so quick. It looks like a completely different car, actually, compared to like, the, my other cars I have. Away. Whee! Oh my god, that jump! What the hell? What happened there? That was crazy! I don't know, I found oh, this is really hard to like drive around in. Looks like it's very, very like stuck to the floor. That makes any sense. I think it feels a bit slidey as well. I don't know how to explain it. I, I clearly have no idea. It's going so quick. It's like I think it's just a blur. <laughs> a massive blur. I haven't, I haven't really played this game uh, that much lately. I tend to like wait for updates and stuff like that. Anyway, let's now do a drag event. So if you go to the map, if you've got, all you got to do is look for these these little flag things here. Two flags mean a drift, not drift event, a drag event. And this is the first one. It's an easy one. Should be quite simple. Fairly basic rep and money, but it's it's it should be a good experience, that's for sure. Let's teleport there. And let's begin the drag event. Oh, yes. I did do this yesterday in like a live stream, if you guys saw that. Well done to you. Unfortunately, it's all corrupted afterwards. So my my voice was like really far in front. It was, it was, it was crap. So there we go. Uh, let's start the event. I could invite some people in, but I'm just going to get into it. The perfect shifts. Race to the finish line. Simple objective. Probably... Yeah, I may crash. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? So I guess we're facing into this Supra. So we're going to get inside this box, first of all. And do a quick little burnout. Get those tyres nice and warm. Good. All we're going to try and do is get in that nice rev range and then just bomb it. Bomb it like an absolute boss. So it starts in one second. Oh no, no, foul, foul, foul. The, the tires do not like that. First gear change, not great. I'm changing with the analog stick, the right analog stick, which, which does feel a little bit odd. It doesn't feel sort of ideal. And the rev range is mental. Nothing! Dominated, absolutely pwns them despite my terrible start. I do find getting the perfect launch on this game is quite tricky. I find that every 10 drag events, I have like one good start, <laughs> which is not good. Not good at all. Anyway, there we go. What's that? A mean looking little car. I absolutely love this car. Let's do some more drag events, definitely. I want to do some drag events. Uh, there should be... What do, what do I find easier? If you go to events... That narrows it down a little bit. You can find the two flags, and then you're good to go. There's one over here. Perfect. Pedal to the metal. Let's teleport. Let's, let's, let's begin this adventure. So, in terms of the new update, you've got manual gears, which I'm doing now in this uh, in this drag event. Uh, the hot rod car, which is 1932, and also this one, this new car. Uh, drag the town. We could do, should we do that. So, we're going to face against other people. Oh... Oh, oh, Gilly. <laughs> What's going to happen? Pretty absolutely swamped. I don't know. It's, it's, there's lots of theories, though. Like, perhaps... Oh, man. Let's get some Lambo. All right. Event starts in a few seconds. Anyone else going to join? Is it just us two? Face against a Lambo. This should be interesting. If I get a good start, I've got a good chance. But, yeah. Easy, easy said and done. I mean, it's Lambo. My star box is over here. Good burn out. I think I moved quite far forward here. We're like outside the box, haven't we? Oh, so the burnout's a bit better, so I've got a slightly bigger area. Uh oh. No, what am I doing? Yes! 
Oh my god! Let's do this! Left the Lambo for dust! Ah! Uh, Moss going. The Lambo's starting to catch up. Thank you again. And then accelerate towards the line. Yes! Smash the Lambo into tiny little bits. Perfect launch. Not the most perfect of gear changes, but I will take it. Yes! That felt good. To beat a, another human being as well, which is always nice. <laughs> yes, I enjoyed that. Not bad at all. Hope you guys enjoyed this little, um, this little video. It wasn't too long. Uh, but checking out this awesome, awesome custom hot rod. I mean, if this is actually real, which I think it might be. Oh my God. I want to see it in real life. Just to see it and hear it. This sounds so good. I do like it a lot. I love it a lot. <laughs> if you guys want to see more of this update, some manual gear, some more drag events, uh, looking at the hot rod, let me know. Hit the like button. And I'll see you guys very soon for another video. And bye-bye.